We're now live. Is it working? Is it working? Here's the question. Oh my gosh. Ostrowski, Nolan, you're the first one here. It's very exciting. We are live here on uh, on Instagram Live and we're going to talk to um, a whole bunch of... Hello, Ebates, Ophelia. Uh, I am hoping for some reason that the sound works. Is everybody hearing me fine? Uh, Neil Ai, 48 other people. There's a lot of hearts going over there. We're very excited. Welcome to the, uh, to the very first Psych Live on Instagram. Uh, everybody's hearing this. Ali Rob, thank you for that. Dr. D. Phillips. Um, oh, it's like Dr. Phillips in, uh, in Orlando. We're very excited. Uh, welcome to the Psych Live Instagram. We're going to have some special guests here and, uh, and hopefully the technical glitches won't be too bad, but uh, we're excited to be here. So um, I thought that, you know, any kind of professional show would have um, what, what, a little bit of a musical component. I don't know if anyone knows this song. Maybe we'll slow it down a little bit, make it a little quieter. You know why? For the next few nights, there will be a psych binge thon And if my math is right, this part is 31 hours long That doesn't mean they're gonna show The one hour cut of our pilot Cause that version kinda blows There's also a two hour international version That's equally problematic Because there's a bunch of extra scenes That don't move the story forward I'm home, you're home, what else are we gonna do? I'm home, you're home, we now fist bump right this way too. That's not a good, you know what, I, I can improve that. I'm home, you're home, where else are we gonna be? I'm home, you're home, we now fist bump with our feet. Much better. Wash between your fingers until you break the skin. The psych binge thon is just about to begin. That feels semi semi professional. Uh, uh, we we have guests. We have uh, we have all sorts of things to bring us all together. And while we're sitting in our places, enjoying what is going to be uh, an amazing amazing um, psychathon, uh, I think um, we should start by bringing on our first guest, and that is the longtime producer, a good friend of mine who I met in college. His name is Chris Henze. And Chris, if you make a comment, I will click on you and I will send you in to, uh, into the show. And uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No. Okay. Let's see. Henzi, have you, uh, we're waiting. Heater baby. Um, I like your pineapples, uh, as well. For those of you, while we wait for Chris, uh, I want to make sure, listen, um, I know this seems like a tough time, but here in California, we are kind of doing amazing things. Uh, you know, we're knocking on wood, but things seem to be going in the right direction. So if you can cover your face, um, stay away from people. This won't be, this won't be too long. If you go to the store, get some gloves here in California, we have a little different gloves than the normal ones because it's California. We do this. So, um, if you can't get some of these, then, uh, then, then figure that out. But, um, Let's, there we go. All right. I need Chris Henze. Is, uh, is anybody seeing Chris Henze here? I don't see Chris. Chris, if you've uh, signed in, well, maybe we just skip Chris and go um, to the next piece, but I don't think so. I think we, we wait to find Henze. Okay. I have to click view on my request. Wait, how do I click view on my request? Wait, hold on. Let me figure that out. What? It'll show up in a second. There it is right there. Where? Click view on that. Oh, view. I see. I got it. I got it. Thank you. I'm feeling it from all areas. Oh, Amundsen is on. Um, you know, I should bring him on not too far up. Where is Chris Henze? Chris, have you requested to be part of this? Okay, this is going to... That's his viewers. Okay, this is uh, so far... Um, Okay, I see. Uh, I, I think tonight, if if we do this again, if anybody will let me do it again, I would love to. Um, I would love to have um, other people on, but I think we have a whole lineup of guests. The one? 
search bar top corner, the little magnifying glass right there. And the magnifying? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. What do I do? Hit the search bar in the top left. Corner. Okay, search bar. And, you can, how do you to... and I can actually s figure out who I'm looking for. So yeah. far, this is working amazingly. Okay, continue. I'm going to type. Um, wait, Henzi is. Let's, there we go. Got it. Okay, this is going to be very exciting if this works. And if it doesn't, it's still going to be great. Okay. Chris, we're not seeing you anywhere. Okay. Well, this is this has gotten less exciting. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, hang on. I think I just saw him. You just you just saw him? Yeah. Did I, could I have skipped Chris Henzi? Well, um, for those of you who don't know, we're showing all these psych episodes. We're showing them in order. Uh, the question tonight was going to be uh, the question tonight was going to be. Um, James Roday is on. I think I'm going to skip ahead and, and we'll go to Chris later. I know a lot of people signed into this just to to see Chris Henze. Um, but I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to go a little bit ahead and I'm going to go right up to uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to do the wheel right now. And I'm going to see who uh, who uh, shows up in the request to uh, to come up. Wow. There are 10,000 requests to um, to be on here. <laughs> Oh, uh, Ray Tornatchet was there. Okay, requests. Here we go. I'm going one by one. And if you, uh, if you have the chance, okay, this is, uh, this is, I'm going to do that. Okay. Are right, now, we're going to surprise by bringing on my very good friend, Tim Amundsen. What Hello. are you doing? Hey, buddy. You are our first guest. You know why you're our first guest? Because you can't find Henzi for 20 minutes. I can't find any Henzi. So Chris Henzi, who he was wants... watching him for seven, 17 times ago. I'm here, you big dummy. He is, uh, it's not on my screen. I don't well, know. I mean, what, what am I supposed to know these things? <laughs> you know, he's going to be really upset because he's going to think I did this on purpose. Um, and I may have. Uh, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, buddy. How are you? You look amazing and fantastic. That hair is like, it's, it's, become, it's become this lion's mane of magic. Well, thanks. How did you, how did you do that with, the, um, with being at your own house? Look at um, what my, my hair is doing. Stop, please. My, um, I live with my stylist. So I, I know, I know. She's amazing. <laughs> so I now, she, now she's my camera operator adjusting my screen. Okay, okay. That's the, this, is, uh, like, this is my lovely wife, Allison, no, no, everybody. No, no. Allison, I can hear you, and Allison, you're amazing, and uh, um, and let's talk a little bit about the movie, please. Because a year ago, a year ago um, today, we were shooting, uh, we were shooting on the stages. You, uh, um, we took two days off, and then it was your day to come into the place we were shooting um, for the for just to visit the set for the first time. And you walked in, and uh, and we were waiting for you. And we all we were in this giant foyer. And as you walked in, the entire crew was there, and we sang "Happy Birthday" to you, which is a weird thing that our uh, our crew does. Uh, and I burst into tears. How did that feel coming to the set, not knowing not knowing first of all if if we were going to sound good, uh, saying "Happy <laughs> Birthday." You but, guys sounded uh, better than you ever had. Well, it was it was a, it was a magical day. But what what kind of feelings did you have coming before you were even on set? If you can experience a um the feeling of an electric blanket that's just perfectly tuned or like perfectly warmed up, not too hot, not too cold, but like wrapping around your entire body in a non suffocating way, but just with love. I think that would that would be it. And then that, to turn around and see like so many of my beautiful crew members, many of which were original ones from the, from the whole series, and of course my cast. And it, I don't know if Carmen's watching. Carmen, our amazing boom operator, she burst into tears. Then Allison saw her burst into tears. Then we all burst into tears. It was pretty, um, it was really, Steve, it was like the entire movie. Just my experience on the, on the shooting the film was just overwhelming love the entire time. It was, it was such a special opportunity for us to be able to make this movie. Uh, and, and, oh, nice. Nice, nice touch. You know what? If you need a coaster, I have a few of these. <laughs> we could virtually, uh, we yeah, could virtually those. do. 
<laughs> but hey, uh, make the product placement a little better. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I have behind me. I have behind me. If you look, it's the it's the actual psych slippers, and uh, and this is actually where that that's where that poster always is. Uh, I like so, it. so we've 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 covered all that. And then since the since the movie since the movie ended, and uh, uh, a year ago, we uh, we decided that it would be great. It's like the anticipation is so exciting that we should wait as long as possible <laughs> before anybody gets to see it, right? So um, uh, I'm not going to take make that call. I would say show the damn thing <laughs> tomorrow. That is uh, that is our hope. We're not um, we're not ready. Well, apparently, to... Dulé Hill is there. Is Dulé Hill there? Okay. How do I get to Dulé Hill? Can someone help me with that? And uh, and and I will uh, and we'll we'll bring Dulé in, and uh, this will be exciting. But Tim, um, the the experience with you was one of the most special um, experiences I've ever had in my life. And uh, you're such a warrior, and I'm so impressed with you. And uh, it, it was it was amazing. Well, Steve, um, I love you. Thank you for bringing me back on the show. Thanks for a the job and b the amazing part you guys wrote for me in the movie. And I, at this point, I have to give a lovely shout out to my amazing physical therapists and occupational therapists who were sitting in their quarantine apartments watching this because they're the ones who really got me into shape for the movie. Uh, so thank you, ladies, and a couple of the guys, mostly ladies. But you're amazing. I wouldn't have been able, I wouldn't have been able to do the movie without those fantastic health care professionals. That's uh, that's extraordinary. And uh, Tim, we're so happy to see you. You sound great. You look great every day. You you just you, you shock me how how much you're just beating the crap out of this thing. And uh, Thanks, um, you're you're an impressive man. And uh, um, and and, and I, I love you with all my heart. Well, that's why I'm doing so well is because I feel that love from you every day when you drop me off a croissant and a coffee. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring someone else on, but until Who's we do next? that, I, I don't know. It, the thing is, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't even know if the names are going to be there. I may be, bring on Jen Glitter. Oh, there's Jazz. Jazz is, uh, Jazz is there. So I'm going to kick off you, and then I'm going to bring someone else on. And if I can't find anyone else, I'm coming right back to you, and I'm just going to talk to you before this thing. Okay. All I'll right, sounds perfect. All right, see, see you later. Bit. All right, and now... We're, uh, we have Tim off, and we're going to look for uh, – okay, where's the request again? Okay. Okay, I got – how about this? You ready? Hit view. Hit view. Oh, yeah. Where's the view oh, at? Scroll up. Okay. There we go. Hit the view right there. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's where it says request. Request. No, we're down. Okay, this is getting – this is amazing. In it's in here? Yeah. That? Just keep scrolling down. Okay. No, not your chat bar. Scroll this down, down. Down, up and down are two different things. You're scrolling up. Okay, now I'm scrolling up. So I'm going down to the bottom. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. I know who's coming in next. Wait. Okay. I, uh, I'm going to surprise everyone. And you may know him for playing Gus in the movie. What's Look at that. What's Look happening? at that. What's happening? I think we're figuring this thing out right now. Look at you, Steve. Delay Hill. Hill. Technical savvy and whatnot. Oh, this is the opposite of technical savvy. And why is my why did all of a sudden my head go down like way lower? I don't understand it. You see, it's good. It's good because it does. It, it it looks all right. How are you doing, sir? Man, all is well, man. Just sitting here at home with the family. You know, Jazz, Kennedy, Levi. We just taking it easy every day, giving thanks. It's uh, it's amazing. It's great to see your face. You get better looking every day, just like Tim Amundsen. I mean, but, I, I, I'm just saying. I, I wish I could keep up with Tim. Though I mean. You see my hair starting to grow in. Tim's hair is looking all smooth. I mean, how did he do that? You know, the hair off to the side like that? You know, Allison, Tim's wife, is, uh, is amazing in all facets. And we, we're learning that, that her hairstyling is also completely on point. And we're a little bit jealous about that. Yes, it is. I think, uh, you know, I think all psychos should go to Allison for her haircut. That's what I'm saying. There we go. The, uh, I have a question for you. I have a year ago, a year ago, we were on set. A year ago, almost today, mm -hmm. we were on set. Jazz, your your wife Jasmine is eight plus months pregnant, yes. right? So we are shooting this movie for the next twenty six days, uh, and and it's going on. She has three days of shooting, and the first day we get her in the can, she's in the movie. But if she goes into labor, 
we had to come up with a plan of where she doesn't, where we don't shoot her the next day. And, and, and you don't shoot, and you don't shoot me the next day. There we go. That's my question. <laughs> what happens to the psych movie if she goes to labor? Does it just not happen? Is it still waiting to pick up? I think, I think it's, uh, it's waiting. To, we have pickup shots that, are, that we would still owe at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the most terrifying thing shooting this movie because we knew Jazz could possibly go into labor. Once we got the second day of her in, we're like, oh, she's, she's in for sure. And she can, we, can, we can change the story. But I had an out for every aspect of the story. But I didn't have an out for when you just got on the plane and left. And we're like, oh, delay. Wait, oh, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been it. They'd be like, see you later, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but the amazing thing about Psych is, we never worry about stuff like that. We just kind of run by the seat of our pants and, exactly. and then hope for the best. That's and, that's, and that's the amazing part because, you know, this, this world, the situation we're in right now, it's like you have to believe that the best will happen and you have to believe that we, we, we all do our best. We all, we all put in the effort. We can, we can overcome whatever is going to be in front of us. And, uh, you know, whether it's willing your wife psychically not to go into labor – or it's uh, or it's it's beating a it's beating a national pandemic. We can do either one. You can do either one, man. The thing that I've learned in both situations is that you take it one moment at a time. And that that's is exactly true. you know, and the thing that came to me today too is what I realized is like I know that I don't know. That's exactly right. And that's how I approach the movie, and that's how I'm approaching this moment right now. Is I don't know what's going to happen. I know it's going to be well, but I'm taking it one moment at a time. That is, uh, that is words to live by, and uh, um, thank you for dropping in. Once again, I may click back to you in a second when I can't find anyone else who's supposed to be here. Is Jazz there? Hey, we, got, we got a little surprise for you, Jazz. Oh, my gosh. People hey. have been yelling for this. You see? Uh, if you're wondering, it is a surprise <laughs> appearance by Levi. <laughs> wow. He, he was in the belly. He was in her belly when we were f filming our Lassie Come Home, and now he's here. <laughs> And Jasmine got the benefit of standing behind a whole bunch of, uh, of, of countertops that were this high, and she was behind a car door. And then we used the magic of filmmaking and digitally altered whenever we didn't quite catch the right angle. And now he's here. And now he's here. And how are you doing? You know what? I have not seen this baby. I'm coming over right now. See you guys in a few. All right, you know what? I'll wait sixty to ninety to one hundred and twenty <laughs> to right. whatever <laughs> days. Five days, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> By the time you finish like the movie three, then you can see him. It is on my list of things to do and uh, things to talk about, but hopefully we can make that happen. And uh, you guys all look amazing, and uh, congratulations on this. And uh, I can't wait to watch this uh, this psych binge -a tonight. And more importantly, to see the, the incredible stuff that you guys do in the movie because it's, uh, it's really special and it's really great. I can't wait to see uh, Baby Dulé tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Baby James and Baby Kristen, Tim, Maggie. All of them are babies. In, <laughs> my, home. in my eyes, you all look the same. So uh, we'll figure that out. <laughs> all right. Stand by because you may come back on again. Uh, right, but I'm, I'm going to I'm Enjoy going cycles. to see you later. What? Dule Hill, ladies and gentlemen. All right. It's sad because I have to click on and it says remove Dule Hill. So um, okay. Now I have to Okay, now I oh I see. I just figured it out. I hit so good at this. I now I hit view and I can see in order everybody requesting. So I should have requested that nobody requested to be on except for the uh, except for people that are in the movie, but Okay, now here's the trick. Am I ever uh, okay? Somebody who is uh, who is waiting to go on next, and I think you know you're supposed to be on right now. Um, please send me a message, and I will try to. Uh, I will try to. Oh, you know what, what, James? Why don't you just get on here, and we'll try to figure out. Uh, oh wait, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to. I'm going to Kirsten next because I found you. Kirsten Nelson, everybody. Uh, we're waiting. Oh, wait. Hold on. We're connecting. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. You got on early. I know. Well, I didn't mean to, but you said send a request. So I was just like, I don't know. I'll send a request because there was Jasmine talking about the baby in her belly. And I thought, perfect, because we're going back to the pilot. And I only have one question for you. And that what? is, 
if you had gone into labor, did we have a plan for that? <laughs> no, we no. Had zero plans. We had zero <laughs> plans. I mean, we were like, like Jazzy, we were hiding it and not talking about it. And um, <laughs> I think I remember getting on the airplane when we were wrapped with the pilot because James and I were on the same flight going home. And the poor flight attendants were like, oh, hi, do you guys want to sit together? Are you guys you know, together? <laughs> I, I think James had been some of the most frightened he'd been in his life at that point. <laughs> it was the closest that James ever got to fatherhood and maybe the, uh, maybe the closest <laughs> he does get. Oh, well, you know, there's hope. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> As he was there with us, and it just seemed like this wonderful little bookend um, and, to experience. And, we're, and the East Coast is going to go back to that in about 24 minutes. Oh my God! Already. already. And we're supposed to we're supposed to sign off before then, but you know we're going to go until 10 o'clock on the on the West Coast, so it's going to oh be fantastic. Yeah, because none of us can talk for only five minutes. <laughs> and I, you know, what I have Corbin on the list, and that's an hour and 10 minutes in itself. <laughs> so. Uh, Hopefully I get to everybody. I have a big question for you because this is very, very important. Do you know any good books that I could read? Uh, you, know, uh, you know, like referring to like maybe with a, a drop of hope of some, uh, of some sort? Well, you're plugging my husband. I love it. Uh, yes, my oh, what? Keith Calabrese has uh, two books out right now, A Drop of Hope. Lena's Shoes Are Nervous for that first day of kindergarten. <laughs> and uh, coming out May 5th, he's got another one, Connect the Dots. But I'll put it on my Instagram page and you can see it. And they're wonderful, especially this time right now. It'd be great to have a little hope and how we can be connected. And that one would be a great read. And if well, not that's... that, go read some Terry Pratchett. It'll make you laugh. I promise. That is fantastic. And someone, someone also put the stand, Stephen King. So there we go. You know, you can go <laughs> either direction. So, so what's the, like in the dome or under the dome? Under the dome, which was a CBS uh, miniseries slash series. It, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not. A, I'm not allowed to to talk about any of the other networks, and I can't talk about the fact that the only show I've watched since this began is Aerial America for like nine hours a day. Not because tight. it's so. I, well, you know what? A, a little bit of Tiger King, but I'm I'm pacing myself on that as well. But. Yeah. Uh, I understand. Pace it because it gets just too much. <laughs> I watch McMillions. We're talking about all the other places that you just tune in. You're so bad. <laughs> but, but I love that so much. So it is uh, awesome to see your face. And um, you might be my next guest. So stand by. Okay. Stand by. And, uh, and I'm going to click back over. And oh, look, someone else is. Oh, my dad loves Ariel America. I'm old. That's, all, that's what she's saying. I'm so, <laughs> yeah. all right i will see you probably in a minute but i'm going to click over and try to find i'm going to try to find james if i can okay, bye. okay goodbye isn't she amazing <laughs> kirsten nelson all right um this is uh this has been okay here we go i'm going to the view okay james oh wait hold on now the view won't even work my finger is wrong okay for those of you is that, am I doing something wrong that the view is not showing up? There we go. Oh, no. No, no, no. There's my, there's my, I just flipped my camera around. There's the schedule. Double tap, double tap your screen. Okay, wait, how about this? What if I do that? Okay, there we go. We got it. Okay, oh, there's Maggie. I'm just going to click on Maggie Lawson. And uh, you know what? Uh, I am going to be the... Let me be the person who doesn't get James Roday on the Psych Instagram Live. But I got Maggie Lawson. Wait, are we trying to get James? I can back up. I can just go back no, to no. commenting. No, are you kidding? There are no rules here. It's just like Psych. <laughs> and my hand wild. gets higher in the frame all the time. I'm, I'm too tall for You're Instagram. So and I, even tall, have, I know, and I have, I have books stacked on this thing. I tried to do it on my <laughs> actual phone, and I had to do it on an iPad. So that's why it's, it's sitting up there. Maggie, how are you oh. doing? I'm good. I'm happy to see you. I am happy this to see so you. How fun. do you want to know what's exciting? Maggie Lawson is currently uh, in, a, in a very funny show on the Fox Network, and uh, we're just we're just we're just plugging that's all the other so networks. Nice. 
yeah. called Outmatch. <laughs> but, but here's the exciting thing about uh, about that is that you got that pilot while we were oh, prepping for the movie. The movie. Yeah, that and, was so wild. And because on Psych, <laughs> if somebody does something, we all band together to make it happen. So you had the opportunity to do this. So we sat down and we rewrote the entire schedule. To, you guys, it, you made that happen. Like you made that happen. It's well, and, so cool. It was, it was, I, I thank you. But yes, it was wild and flying back and forth. But yes, it was, it was, it was because of, of that. Well, and we're not fishing. I'm not. I'm not fishing for a compliment there. Yes, you really, are. It's, uh, it's no, okay. Well, I, You're I was allowed. Completely looking for and that. You Thank you it. for having that. But, <laughs> but the amazing thing about that is your schedule in the movie was you shot on the first three days, and then you went and and rehearsed and and learned the lines and shot an entire pilot and then yeah. came back for the last five days of the shoot yeah. and had to switch gears and, and do all that. And that, that's oh, pretty extraordinary, it. right? It was so, it was, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I, that movie. And then to come back and I think every single day on that back end, I got to spend with Tim. So Which was it amazing. was like, Oh, I, yeah. So I had that, like when I was going back and I was running back and forth and I did the pilot and all that, it was like, oh, I get to go back and have and have uh, and have those days with him, which was like, you know, the best of the best. I mean, still, like, it's so crazy. You know, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about because I came on episode two, yes. And I was thinking about Tim today, and I was like, I'll never forget that moment before we busted into that church in uh, Speak Now, and I was like, uh. I remember Tim looking at me and saying. I was so nervous because it was like day one. Tim was like, Tim was like, Maggie, what are you going to do? And I was like, hmm? He's like, what are you going to do? I'm like, I, I don't know. He's like, are you going to act the shit out of it? <laughs> I was like, oh, yes, yes. Yes, I am. I'm going to act the shit out of it. That's where that whole thing began was on that episode. So much fun. It's amazing. And it continued right into your first day, your first scene with Tim. Yep. Every, and there was every, a day. Yeah. there. There was a day in the second half where we did a scene and it was um, kind of an emotional scene between the two of you. And uh, it was it was going really well. And then we just said, why don't you guys just talk to each other as Maggie and Tim? And oh, my God, we had cameras on both of you guys at the same time. And we're, we're just behind the, the camera just sobbing. Because everything that I was, can't even think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that was written in the movie was sort of true in real life and <laughs> uh, and becoming true and and it's and and tim just uh just wrote it's one of his favorite what movies too, moments oh. too oh my and, god that like yeah i uh that was a really emotional day it was really it, it was and you, for you to give us the like room to do that too was like i'll never forget it, it well good, once again it's good to get once again, that looks like I was fishing for a compliment, but it was, it's completely you, against... You know you were, against, and it's okay. You deserve it. You're allowed. <laughs> Do you know what I just figured out, Maggie? What? I what just figured, figured out? out that my chair has a little lever that lowers me down, <laughs> so I'm actually in frame now. <laughs> you just figured that out? <laughs> it just happened. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a lot of pressure. chair in your it, own house? It is. By the way, it's my chair from, uh, from the psych office that we, that we had. When, when, they, when we were done with the show, they, um, the furniture company that we rented this furniture from for eight years, which, by the way, a really smart way to do furniture. Don't buy it in season one. Rent it for eight years. They gave us the option to buy our chairs back. And I oh bought my, God. my chair back. Really? So, yeah, it's great. Oh, it's, uh, there's, some, there's some broken pieces, but it's, uh, it's still special to me. And, it's a uh, nice chair. Yeah, and it's uh, yes, and so and uh, someone just said I'm a tall glass of water, which um, is partially which partially are. true. You uh, are. And so, are you going to watch you tonight on episode two? Oh, I think I am. Yeah, uh, I'm like I, I'm so excited. <laughs> Look, it's fun because we, you know, again, and I might sound like a broken record, but with the psychos and every like we we get to relive this too. Like, you know, this was our family and this is our fun. And I, 
I it's been a long time since I've seen like the early early stuff, and I can't I can't wait to watch it again. Well, and you know when we when we did your scene, the first scene in the diner that you'll see in episode two, which is this uh, the spelling bee, is uh, is it was the scene you auditioned with, and we wrote that for the audition for you, and it oh, just yeah. happened to be the, the because I'm lazy. I just kept that as the uh, as the first scene in the show, and it was you were so great in it that there was no way it wasn't going to be your introduction. Not because you're lazy, because the scene was, and and I, I remember reading it the first time. It was uh, witty and funny and smart, and I and and set up the whole, you know, tension uh, between Sean and Juliet and. Um, that scene was so fun to shoot. It was so perfect. And I loved the order we shot it in because a little time had passed when we got to actually yeah. shooting that scene. And so some things had been like established and I, it was, it was perfect. It was perfect. And I remember I had to hold, I have to hold a gun in that scene, like at the very oh, end. Oh yes, that's right. And, and it says in there, like her hand is shaking. I'm like, yeah, I'm not acting. Like <laughs> I, got, I got to that point and my hand was like actually shaking. Anyway, yeah. Well, we'll good. look for that tonight. Yeah. And yeah, we'll look, yeah, and we'll it. we'll look for you, and hopefully we get season two of um, of Outmatch. Hopefully, we're waiting to hear. Uh, yeah, which is which, by the way, is not on the Fox Network. It's on Peacock, coming soon. To, well, wait, no, it is on the Fox Network, but Peacock is coming soon to wait. all of you. And <laughs> Outmatch is to... on Fox, but yes, uh, our yes. movie is on. Peacock. Wait, what did James say? I was just trying Don't to get peacock. a plug in for something that we own or our company. Uh, oh, yes. Wait, I think James are, is like sitting in a room waiting to get I am, oh, get Okay, it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn you off and then I'm going to stare at this thing and go All like right. this for four minutes and then I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna, but goodbye, Maggie. I'm well, so um, glad I got to talk to you. Thank you, stay and everybody. I'm, I may have to have you back on again, so be, be ready, but probably not. Okay, I'm right James. Here. Give right me, send here. me something. Right okay. All right. Removing. Okay. Now we're going to find James. If everyone, here we go. Okay. Here we go. There it is. Okay. You ready? I believe that I have, I have put this off so long that it's finally going to, um, it's going to pay some dividends. Maybe a little bit, maybe a lot, maybe not. You just don't know. So, uh, here we go. This is building up. This is building up. So are you ready, James? I don't. So far, it says it's waiting for you. This is really, this has become, this has become the Matt Damon, uh, the Matt Damon, Jimmy Kimmel bit. But James Roday is somehow, we're waiting for you. It could, well, it, it is true that we do have, I'll wait for it. You know what I can do while we fill the time? Yeah. We can play them on with the theme to A Million Little Things. I don't know if A Million Little Things has a theme, so let's just make one up. It's a million, million little things. A million, million little things. I think we got it. Oh, no, James, you're gone now. Okay, now I'm going to put this, put this away again, and we're going to try to get James on one more time. Where, what is happening, James? I'm going right to Corbin next. Oh, no, there we go. See, look, there's my schedule right there. It could go right to Corbin. Okay, it just keeps showing that. Okay, Rode, send me a message. This actually is more fun this way. Have you, has anybody noticed the Kurt Smith in the background? That's a... Uh... Okay, view. It's just turning this around every time. <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right. Okay. This could be it. Once again, now, James, I'm waiting for you. It's building up. It's very exciting. It's okay. We've done it. Jesus. We've done it. <laughs> I felt like I was being Dude. punished. I felt like I was being punished for something. <laughs> what happened? Why were you not coming on? Why were you I not appearing? Know, between the two of us, like, we're the last two guys anybody should be putting in charge of something that involves technology. I keep putting, I keep flipping my screen around. I don't even know how I'm doing that. No, no, man. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, oh, congrats, though. So congrats on your little uh, opener. That fun did, song that I'm sure it took you all seven seconds to write. That was <laughs> gritty and fun and, and that everyone appreciated, I'm sure. Did you like my Million Little Things song? 
I missed it. I was oh, dude, hold on, hold on, hold on, because kind of weird abyss. Okay, because I don't know, and not that I haven't watched a million little things, but it goes a little like this. It just goes, it's a million million little things. Or should I draw it out? Should I, million little things. Should I draw it out and like start it out so it builds? Like it's twenty six thousand little things, right? And then you can like maybe you like say, no man, you're low. And then I'll go up, and then we we'll keep building it till we get to a million. And that's the longest theme song ever written, but it ends with, and most of them are sad. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I know my theme yeah. song. Okay, good. All right. Well, you know what? Listen, if you guys really don't have a theme song, I, you know what? You guys can have that, like, free. It's, Thank you. It's, Thank yeah, you. It's, it's no problem. Uh, James, I'll, send it to, I wanna... I'll send it to DJ. I, I have a feeling he's going to be way into it. <laughs> so James, tell me this. Yeah. Uh, t today is the 30th anniversary of Twin Peaks. Yeah, it is. And uh, I was lucky enough to be able to write a little, uh, a little something about our contribution to our tiny contribution to to that legacy, and a little love letter to my my buddy Dana, uh, who was my favorite character on the show. It's over. Uh, it's somewhere on the TV Guide website. Oh, that's uh, that is uh, that's fantastic. And and our show was um, from day one or day two about wish fulfillment. Yeah. And wish fulfillment was how do we before they cancel us or figure out just how silly and ridiculous our show was? How can we check off as many dream ideas as possible? Uh, and I think for me. Uh, for me, it's like there, there's nothing else that I, that I felt we, we left on the table. Uh, but I think watching you do Twin Peaks was uh, was one of my the extraordinary um, joys of my life. Oh, and man. It was so awesome. And, uh, and I'm so grateful that we were able to do it. Like, that's just that was just the coolest thing. I had to I was trying to do the thing where I was holding it the whole time. I was like, nobody else looked like they were doing that. So like, <laughs> this, is where, this is where we're at. And now there's all this negative space above my head. Well, and you know what? This looks like my head is in a picture frame, which is nice. Yeah, it's like you and Frank. It's kind of like that thing in the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland it where when you, where you walk so this way, it becomes fun. By the way, did you find the Kurt Smith in the image here? I did. It's over your uh, left shoulder. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it was when he was going through his sort of emo phase uh, <laughs> where he had more earrings than he had lobe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have one of those one of those uh, turntables you get at Target, and uh, they, you know they're Crosleys. I'm, I'm just I'm plugging everything. By the uh, way, uh, Kurt Kurt and his incredibly talented daughter Diva uh, did a acoustic duet of Mad World that I threw up on my Instagram the other day. Check that out, out everybody, if you haven't. It's it's beautiful and it's haunting and it's appropriate for what what we're going through right now. Uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, I, I did see it. And it'll be exciting, and uh, uh, and uh, it there's just it, this is the the thing that that keeps giving. And and Kurt, if you're if, if you're a fan of Psych the movies, which there's going to be a second one uh, very soon, uh, there is a way to find Kurt Smith um, within the movie. But you you have to uh, you have to use all of the senses. It's an Easter egg. And that's uh, a timely that's a timely reference because I'm pretty sure Easter is like upon us. It is. It's Sunday, isn't that yeah, exciting? It is. Now Kurt was on tour, if I remember correctly, because they have millions and millions and millions and millions of fans, uh, predominantly in the Philippines, and uh, and they were playing some crazy shows, and he couldn't get to Canada, so uh, we found an interesting way to make him a part of the fabric, the very fabric of the second movie. Uh, good luck finding it. Good luck finding him. Here's the funny thing. Uh, uh, this is this is the world of James Roday because we look at the schedule and there was a two day gap between shows and you s pulled me into an office and closed the door and said, all right, here's how we can fly him in at midnight from the show, get him across. And you, you were determined to, to make that happen. Well, I remember what we did to get uh, John Cena in for the first movie. And that was a matter of national security. So I figured once we pull that off we can do anything <laughs> the best the best john cena story was uh um during the psych mo the movie too we were being dropped off at at, uh, at henzy's hotel because henzy stays in a much nicer hotel than i do uh, because he's fancier 
and uh, he, and he we saw John. With, he was staying with Justin Trudeau, if memory serves. Yes, I believe that's exactly correct. And I saw John get out of the uh, get out of his car. Uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, John Cena's is there. Of course he's going to remember. We had a very special day. We, we, uh, we, we shot that scene and he'd acted in a movie that I, that I had co-written. And uh, he's going to be so interested to see me. And I, I, I stepped out of the van. I never say, anyway. and I said, John, it's Steve from Psych. And he actually kind of recoiled and jumped back into his car like I was some person who was going to I never, attack him. I, I so. never told you this, but he told me weeks later that the reason he didn't wave is because he thought you were a giant uh, Nav <laughs> Navajo totem being wheeled on a dog. <laughs> and and when, you, when you raised your arm and spoke, it scared, it scared him, frankly. It's um, true. I jumped out of the car because I, yeah. that's how you know me, because I'm 6'8". Yeah. So, so, so he, that's, thought, he thought you were like a, a giant spiritual carved wood thing and that's why man so give him a yeah <laughs> but the truth of the matter is john has no recollection that that ever happened <laughs> no no he probably doesn't um, but he was he was an amazing guy the day on the set and it was one of the most fun days i've had and just to watch dude. you i love that dude yeah. he has hair now man and he's doing all yeah. kinds of fun things with it too yeah yeah it's pretty extraordinary so uh james we're gonna go get to corbin i, and, think, it's uh, time. I think it's time to give the people what they want uh, and that's some Henry Spencer. But uh, uh, thank you, thank you all for uh, for going on for going on this journey with us. It's been so long. I can't even I can't even remember how long it's been. I just know that I was much much younger when we started. Uh, but thank you, Steve, for creating the show. Thank you, Psychos, for always being there for us. Uh, and enjoy going back and watching the early episodes where uh, things are really bright, brightly colored, and uh, <laughs> they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were so brightly colored. All right, James, I'm going to get Corbin. I saw All right, him. have fun, everybody. I'm... Oh, what a, an amazing man. And now, okay, now all I have to do is pull down Corbin. Corbin said he was here, so hold on. I just saw, I'm not even going to go to the view thing. There he is, right there. Okay, Corbin Burnson, um, pro possibly from... Look, oh, there he is. That is. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. That's Look the at you. man who said he couldn't do technology to everybody. <laughs> you look so good. Look at that. And you got the pineapple shirt on. Oh, yeah. And the hat. Oh, the and, hat. and by the way, are you, are you, are you underneath a deck uh, there? The, what is that roofing? That oh, yeah. awesome yeah, wood on the, on the is, ceiling uh, there. Um, I sort of got stuck here in L.A. I was here remodeling a house. Um, and... Uh, then everything hit and I couldn't get back to New York to where I live. And uh, so I'm in a garage apartment with Amanda. There, where is uh, she? There she is. Uh, Amanda and, played. Uh, we're living a life. This is an odd thing. We're living exactly where I met Amanda 31 years ago. 32. 32, she corrects me. Yeah. We're back to the <laughs> You can never win. You, that is extraordinary. And Amanda, of course, is a psych alumni for those paying yeah, attention. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, she plays my hot it, girlfriend. That's right. And is th that episode is tonight, right? Or in the in the in the first two season marathon, right? I, I all I can just say is check out her chest. Okay. Come on. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. She. So you know, I fell in. You know, I was in love with her, but I refell in love with her when we did that show. It's very strange to sit across from someone who you've been married to for twenty years and have to play the scene of falling in love again it was good and it was a date it was a date she just won't give me any space all right <laughs> it is we are, we are lucky that, that that we trapped you here in la and uh and 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 good on you for uh for doing your part and and you know and stay um yeah. because uh you know and, and and maybe you know i'm always looking for the positive i'm always like clinging to the positive and it right. feels like um you know as, as much as this sort of you know sheltering in place and and whatever the terminology is feels like it's working uh, to some degree yeah. here and if yeah yeah it, is, it is working and you know uh, i from day one it, by the way you know uh, as i i think i told you in a phone call earlier being 65 you're in this other category and you go come on man don't stick me in there you know, you're like, 
I look for I look for articles where they say over sixty five, not sixty five and over. That is how 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 desperate my life has become. But um, sixty five and uh, sixty five and older, I'm I'm dead. That's all I know. Um, no, but I I I am from day one. I feel great. I am from day one. Thought there's only positive to come out of all this. I. You, you know I me, mean, I, I, I yield to my faith and things a bit more. And uh, uh, I do believe there's purpose in all this. And, uh, and part of it is watching all of us come together. Part of it is just look what's happened with this show where we all started some, you know, back when I was way under 65. And, uh, and look at us all here together, even though everybody's doing different shows and different things. The, there's this coming together thing that's extraordinary. And I must say, I feel like the world was ready for was ready for, and and we're doing it in our way with the show. To, you know, this this run of the marathon. How many people who are around the show are going to come together in this? And it's I think it's a point in time where we got to appreciate that. Yeah, and you know what? The, you know, it's it is because you know it, as as hard as it is to be at home, I'm I'm relishing this time with family, and and it's 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 you know it, that part of it is wonderful, and I and I do believe you're right. It's like you look at the sky the sky is as blue as it's oh, ever it's, been and, okay. and if you looked at the maps of air pollution gone it's extraordinary right it's extraordinary and, and, and it's like you know maybe this is a, the kind of a, the kind of experiment that being forced into it's like we realize people can work from home and 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 they're not going to screw around the whole time i mean my job honestly almost exactly the same as it's always been every writer i talk <laughs> to says what are you talking about this is a dream <laughs> There's just, there's just people in my people. office. Writers and very, very depressed people. See, all the you, people I know that are depressed are absolutely enjoying this. <laughs> and well, it's cast well, I, under the misery loves company, I suppose. I, no. I try to be the, the one happy-go-lucky writer and the one but who's you always, so always looking to pause it. That's what and, the show uh, is. You know, that's what we are. By the way, that's how, many what we are. how many hats are in the room? Huh? Oh, there's two. There's two, right? I even created a set for this. How many hats are there? <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. No, Nicely let, me, done. Let, me, let me ask you, if you. Let me see if you go back. Does a uh, blank count? Oh, a beanie? Okay, you got it. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah there you go. That scene. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Because I remember way, that as well. Scene, my favorite scene of all eight years. That scene. Oh wow! Uh, so I was a downhill from the beginning. No, it went it went uphill, but it was it was to me. I don't I don't think we shot that. No, we didn't. You guys were certainly working before I got there, but it defined the relationship that I had with Sean. For yeah, oh, oh yeah, no, absolutely. There. Yeah, yeah, no, it was amazing. And by the way, I will say my favorite scene that you've ever done occurs in psych the movie too towards the end without giving yeah. anything away really yeah it's it's a it's a little conversation that you have uh with oh. uh, uh with sean um and it's uh it's 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 gets me every time oh that's good that's good that's the uh, only scene i have in the movie right <laughs> <laughs> yes to say this here's the secret I don't have much to do in any of these movies. Oh, get so, out of here. So that is why it's his favorite scene. No, that's not true. No, you were in a lot of scenes in this one. You're a very important part because things have changed in Santa Barbara when the guys come back. Things have changed. And, uh, uh, and you're, you're still back there, and we're, we're, very, uh, we're very excited to see you. Corbin, can we leave with my favorite piece of trivia about you? Sure. If okay. Wine or it's, gin and tonic? Which one? No, no, that's not even it. That's not even it. Nobody, okay. I, I never see this. Maybe you don't even want people to know, but uh, so I'm going to just bring it up right now. But I think it, it'd be fine. Where were you on the night that Robert Kennedy was assassinated? There, in the room, not in the, the, at the Ambassador Hotel. I was there. My mother I, was uh, actively working for him. You know, as she was an actress. God bless her. Thank God she doesn't have to be here through this. But she. Uh, she was working for Kennedy, and we were all going to go meet him. I think I was 12 years old, 68, 14, and, uh, and we were waiting. And I ran outside to the lobby of the Ambassador Hotel, and he was on his way to meet us before he gave a speech. And I wanted to have a big Kennedy for President button on me. And I went out where the buttons were. I paid a buck or whatever it is. And a woman fell to her knees and got, oh, God, not again. And the place went crazy. 
That was and a, you were that there. Was a defining moment in my life. That that was my loss of innocence moment. Well, um, you are um, you are a, a student of history, a student of the world. You have all kinds of, of huge and 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 big ideas, and uh, <laughs> I no, no in, a, in a great way. I know people make this fun a, of them. I know, I know, I know. No, no, but I I'm a, I feel like I'm such a better person for um, for 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 knowing you all these years, and and for you playing the version of my dad. It's, oh, right. Uh, it's I was thinking about that the other day. How is your dad? <laughs> How he's doing you? great. Good. He's doing great, and I'm. Uh, uh, Have you been able uh, to see him? My kids won't see me. We're in yeah, no, my mom. My mom. I want to drive and deliver groceries to their front door, but my mom won't allow me because uh, she thinks it'll be sad. I go <laughs> sad. Well, my not kids. Too. My kids are saying they're doing it for my benefit, and I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to. I just want to say to to all the dads out there, stay home, stay home for a while, enjoy some television, yes. and uh, <laughs> and I am and, the, and the peacock is coming out soon, so you'll have all kinds of content to watch. Yeah. In the meantime, Ozark's pretty damn good. Sorry, I'm <laughs> we're, we're doing nothing but plugging other things, but that's okay. Because I want to work with Jason Bateman, man. Why didn't we ever get him on the show? He's great. <laughs> oh, he's an amazing guy. And by yeah. the way, um, and, and let me just say, I had a, a meeting with Jason Bateman. That's not a name dropping. What I'm going to drop is he had these pretzels in his office that were French toast flavored pretzel crisps, and it's the greatest snack I've ever had, and I've never found them again. Oh, they're from so, Trader and of course, Joe's. Oh, those are the Trader Joe's ones, those cinnamon kind of pretzels. Hello. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've looked for them for many years. And, of course, I never got another meeting with Jason Bateman. Of course. But, uh, but you know the was, sad it, part of that conversation was you had a meeting with Jason Bateman, and then you said I was in his office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, geez. anyway. They were amazing pretzels. I always remember time by food, and uh, uh, and I, I will um, I will be excited. Corbin, we're going to do another one of these movies if uh, if everybody uh, if everybody Goodbye. is uh, is willing over there. <laughs> I'm sixty five. And... I'm willing. Sixty. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sign. The sixty five is a game changer, man. It was like, okay, you're old now. That's it. It's like, it's put me in this category of like, and I feel old now. I feel like my bones hurt. And it's like, oh. I don't want to, this is the first time I've ever wanted to lie about my age. That's enough. Uh, well, you, that's enough of that. Come on. The time's up. The time's you up. You look fantastic. You look great. I'm going to, I'm going to sign you off and then I'm going to, uh, and then I have to try to figure out a way to save this entire thing or else it gets erased forever. So save it's it up here. to me to not, well, no, there's a, something I have to push and not ruin it. So uh, Corbin, you're amazing. I will see you soon, hopefully. Everybody stay safe and- uh, Enjoy the show. Uh, it's good to see you. All right. Enjoy all the, and all the shows. Love you guys. Goodbye. Bye. All right, and that is it for, um, that is it for the uh, Instagram live uh, event. Uh, I think we should, uh, we should try to get the end of the song right, because- uh, I'm home, you're home, what else are we gonna be? We now fist bump with our feet. Got it. There we go. Walk between your fingers until you break the skin. It's like dreams of dawn. It's just about to begin. Or it already began. Goodbye, uh, Kirsten. Goodbye, all you people who came through here today. Um, you know, maybe we can do this again. I had a good time. Uh, I know that the, the Psych Binge continues next week, uh, Wednesdays for approximately 31, 32 hours, uh, two seasons at a time each Wednesday, and it goes from there. And uh, if we do it again, our special guest will be Chris Hensi, who never made it on. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. This has been an amazing time, and uh, I'm going to figure out how to turn this off. Okay. I think this is how we do it. I think I hit live. Tell me, text me if I'm doing this wrong. I hit live and uh, I end it. No, I end it. I end it and then I save it. So let's see what happens if this is lost it's forever. Okay. Ready? Okay. End now. Is that correct? I believe that's. Okay. Wait, hold on.
Let's just say, should I end this? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm almost positive. I'm pretty sure we'll take. Okay. We'll now it's it, maybe like just bonus time you get. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. There, there's a sign here that tells you. Uh, okay. There is some sort of instructions that I have. So if you're still watching this, enjoy, enjoy. I'm just going to keep this on uh, uh, here just to make sure that I do this correct because this could be lost in the annals of, of history forever. You should be. I'm just going to let you know, there's 25,000 or 2,500 people watching you. This is amazing. Uh, this is how I do it. And now it's correct. Okay. Thank you. And